welcome to the full English with me, Matt Riley, as we review the super big match last Saturday between SCG Mungtong United and Chonburi FC. As the players came out, they were welcomed by a huge support and their mascots from Harrow International School, although some of the mascots looked just as big, if not bigger, than the players. A great experience for the young children of Harrow with that fantastic crowd there, the West Stand, with their great amount of flags and support. The game started off incredibly fast for Mung Tong. You see on the pitch there's some damage from an earlier flood, but Mario Jarowski, after only two minutes, after his first shot was blocked, the second shot cannoned in off a deflection from a Chombury defender, and he didn't care about that as he ran to the North Stand to take all the plaudits. And so the game continued, and it looked like Mung Tong may have a chance to go further ahead. But on 60 minutes, a cross came over, Kawin punched well to the edge of the box, and somehow Al Adul, with three, four, five layers of Mung Tong players, was able to side foot with power into the roof of the net over the despairing Daniel on the line. The second half was a very tight affair and with the red card for the Mung Tong captain and a late penalty shout for Chombri, 1-1 appeared a fair result. Talking to the returning hero, Kawin, out for eight months, he was asked how he felt about his first game after such a long injury. He replied that he's feeling great and he thanked Andy and all the medical staff who had helped him and helped him come back stronger than ever. He did some good saves in the game and he conceded only once of course and there was nothing he could do about that and he felt comfortable with his performance. He also gave a big thanks to his mum and dad for their great support. He was then asked if he felt 99% free of injury and he replied that there's nothing to worry about now. All he has to do now is to keep training hard and to get stronger and as we know with Cohen, he's a tremendous trainer. After the game, both clubs feel happy as Chombri are a big team, says Cowan. There are plenty of games to play and anything can happen. With seven games left and of course 21 points, they still have a chance and they still believe that they can retain the Thai Premier League title. He repeated that he's going to keep training hard and he knows that his fellow players are doing the same and they believe in themselves. The fans, says Cohen, helped them to believe as well and he gave great thanks to the fans who filled the stadium. Without them today, he said, maybe they would have lost and thanks so much for their loyal support in this extremely important match at the top of the table. As we know, the next day, Burry Round United were able to win 3-2 away at China, making the point gap five at the top of the Thai Premier League, but they will continue to fight.